Hey guys, it's Jen from My Create Crafts. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create these easy, personalized acrylic keychains. They were so easy and so much fun to create, and you can personalize these any way that you choose. I will leave all of my supplies I use in the description below. Now let's get started. So I've been doing a lot of these keychains already and they've been selling out like crazy so I figured I would do a quick video tutorial on how to do these. You may have seen them or may have not seen them so I'm just going to show you really quick these. So these are ones that I purchased from either Design Bundles or Etsy or you can create them yourself. I just love actually purchasing the file and then not having to deal with trying to make them myself. So that's what I did here. So a couple things with this, some of these may be attached, some of them may not be attached, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So this one, I think you kind of get my drift what it means, <laughs> um, is attached already. So this one is not going to be attached because there's two pieces to it, you can see it here. So it's the, the mama is one and then the fur and then the paw print is another one. So if they come like this, you can change the colors on these, which I think I might do. Or actually I might leave it the way it is because this part is um, black, which I kind of like, and then the fur is white. So you can always change it to whatever color. But to do this, although it's not attached, you still have to go to the ungroup button up here, and then you can work with it this way. So the fur should be, let's see, okay, so this is keeping it one full piece. So you can change the color on this now. So if I wanted to, I could go up here to the color box and change it to, let's say, a brown color, and then that would change everything here brown. And then the mama would be black or you can change it to white, you know, however you want it. I think I might change it to white just to show you guys. So there. So this will cut out as one whole piece and then the mama will cut out one whole piece. So this will cut out in brown. This will cut out in white. So you'd have to change or you'd have to put this together on your keychain. So to finish this one up, I'm going to select the fur mama, the whole thing, and I'm going to change the size. Actually, if you guys follow my channel, you know I like to visualize things. So I'm actually going to go to the shape button up here and grab a circle. And I know that my um, keychain is a two by two. So I'm going to change this to be a two by two. So to do that, I'm not going to unlock it. I'm just going to go up here and push two and then it'll automatically change it to two for me. So here it is here. So now I want this to fit into this. So I'm going to select both of this, bring it over here, and make it a little bit smaller so it will fit in here. And it looks really small because my page is only at 75%. If I do it larger, all these are going to be too large to see. So now that I have this selected, I'm going to go over this. So don't be afraid. It's still there. You just have to go up to the Align button. Oops, I'm sorry. The Arrange button and Send to Front. And then here it is. So now I can make my screen a little bit bigger and show you guys what it looks like. So if I go over here, I can see that it's still too large. This is why I like to visualize things because if I did this fur mama and I did two by two, it would not fit in my circle. It would just be just on the edges and that's just too much. So I'm gonna select the fur mama again. So I have the first part selected, the fur and the paw, but now I want the mama. So I'm gonna hold my command button down and I'm gonna get the other one. And I say this in many videos, I have a Mac, so I'm not really sure what a regular computer um, buttons would be. Um, I think it might be your control button, but I'm sorry, I'm not really sure, guys. If anybody knows, please let me know so I can say it in future videos. But for me, I have a Mac, so I just have to push the command button to grab both of these. So I grabbed both images here. So you can see up at the top, these two are grayed out. So now I can make it smaller just like that. So I can fit it in the center and I think I might make it just a little bit smaller. And it doesn't matter if it's in the center or not because the only reason I'm using the circle is just to see what it would look like. So that's what it will look like. So I'm going to take the circle. I'm actually going to move this guy over here because this one is done. So again, kind of self-explanatory guys, but I thought this would be kind of cute for a uh, keychain. So again, I'm just going to shrink it up a little bit, put it over this, and then again, you have to go to arrange and send to front, and then you can see it here. So I'm, again, I'm just using the circle just to see what it's gonna look like. I like this one. I'm gonna leave this one, 
and you can always change the color um i'm thinking maybe like a holographic color for this so i'm actually going to change this color really quick to maybe a purple and um the only reason i'm doing purple is because then i would know remember or i can write it down since i have so many the purple is holographic so you can kind of remember that when you go to cut it out so let's just go to the next one. I'm not going to show you how to do all of these. Uh, of course, that would take way too long. I'm just showing you a couple of them. But if I shrink my screen again, you guys can see how many I have here. And I did cut a lot of these out already. And I'll maybe show you just like one more. Um, let's see. You can always do, like I said, you can change the color on these for whatever you want. Like this ICU nurse one. I love this one. This one went really quick for me. I don't know. There must be a lot of ICU nurses around the area or lots of friends or something. But if you see on the side here, this will all cut out individually. So the ICU will actually cut out separately ICU. I want all of that to cut together. So what I'm going to do is actually go up to the ungroup button up here. And I'm going to make this one larger so we can see it. So I'm going to grab both and then I'm going to show you that now it's going to um, cut out how we want it, but we still want to push the attach button. Um, so again, if you didn't, this would just cut out separately. So with it selected, the part that I want, I'm going to push attach and then I'm going to do the same thing with the nurse. Oh, the nurse one is already together. So it's going to cut out just like you see it. The ICU is going to cut out as one whole piece. And the nurse is going to cut out as one whole piece. So now the last thing I'm going to do is select both, shrink it up a little bit so it will fit into my circle. So here it is. Remember, here's the two by two that we are working with. So I need to shrink this up into that size. So I'm going to shrink it up here, pull it over. And now you can just do the same thing. Arrange. Whoops. It's only going to do one. I think it's because I have two separate colors. So I'm just going to do one at a time then. And then I'll click on this guy and then go to arrange send to front there we go because it doesn't have to be centered here because when you cut it out it's going to cut out the red separate and then the black separate so you don't have to center it into your little circle here i'm just kind of seeing if it's going to fit so there this one is perfect as well the way it is so that one is finished as well so i hope you guys get the point that's just how i do it i just like to visualize it to see what it's going to look like before saying hey this one's going to be you know a one and a half by one and a half i don't want it to be skewed and i want it to look really nice so again you can go in here and finish up with whatever colors you want okay so for this one i clicked on this one each one of these pieces are going to be uh, cut out separately. So if I make this one larger, you can see that each one of these pieces will be cut out separately. So if you go to cut this right now, the I, the C, A, N, and all that is going to be cut separately. So I want it to cut out as one whole piece. Or if you want to change the color on a few things, here's where you can do it. So I will show you with this one. So I have this one selected. I'm going to go to the ungroup button up here this is actually going to show you that this is how it would cut out so all these pieces are separate so let's say i wanted to change you know this color in this one so i'm going to do the same thing i want to select all three of these pieces so they're all together when they cut out just to make it simpler for when i place it on the keychain rather than trying to figure out where it goes to make it look good so i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to select the first part hold my command button down and I still have my command button down. I did not let go. And I'm clicking on all of those. So now all three pieces are together. You can see up here. The grayed out ones are the ones that are all together. So I'm going to push attach. So now all of that is all attached together. See, just like that. So now I don't have to worry about trying to figure out how to put those together. And now I have to go and attach all of these guys. So I'm going to do the same thing with this. I clicked both on these. And I'm going to push the attach button. Then I'm going to go ahead and attach these two so when it cuts out, it'll be just like that. Whoops, this one didn't work. Let's do that again. So I always say if I make a mistake, I always tell you guys I made a mistake. I missed the first one, so there. Now I'm going to push attach. So now these both pieces should be together. These pieces are together. So now I'm going to grab all three words here, and I'm going to attach these. You guys still with me? Give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you like this video. I try really hard to show you guys, you know, step by step how to do things as if I was just learning how to do it. So I hope it really helps you guys out. So again, we can change the color now. So let's say I wanted to do this in a holographic. So I'm going to do this one, the purple color that I had, because I want to remember when I cut it out, I want to remember, oh, that was holographic. So I'm going to cut this one out in holographic. And I think I'm going to do this maybe in um, either white or black. But again, it doesn't really matter 
where these went because you can just put them wherever you want when you're finished. So this one is almost done. The last, whoops, the last thing I want to do is actually resize it. So I'm going to grab all of it now that I'm done and then shrink it up and put it over here. And we'll make my screen bigger so I can show you what guys what it looks like now. So here it is. So I want to make it a little bit bigger. So to, the way the easiest way to do it is get rid of this so that you can grab all of this now and then just move it over and then go. So I'm trying to get it as big as I can without going over the sides. And you have to remember that there's a little hole right here in the middle for your keychain. So when you're resizing things, please make sure that you don't put anything up too high because you have that little hole there. So I'm actually going to finish all of these up and I will cut them out. Whoops, my screen again. Here we go. I will cut them out. I'll weed them out and then I'll show you what it looks like. But if you guys have any questions at any time, please feel free to leave a comment below and I will get back with you. I love talking with you guys. I really appreciate the comments you guys have been leaving me. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, please leave them down below. But seriously, please hit that like button if you like this video. I work really hard on these and I'm trying really hard to show you guys step by step how to do it. And it really um, shows me that you guys care if you hit that subscribe button and the like button. So hit that like button and um, let's finish this up. All right guys, so I am finished weeding out my stuff and I wanted to show you a couple what they look like. So here is the dog person one. There's a couple that have two different parts to it. So here's the crazy dog lady and then a the little paw that goes with it. Um, I got the I can't adult today one done and I really love how these turn out like I said I've done a bunch of these already so these are just a few of the ones that I actually was working on one thing I want to show you really quick so these are the little uh, keychains that I buy they just come like this they're round or they have like hex hexagon ones as well but I'm working with these round ones today so I also bought these these tassels there are two different ways you can buy this, and I'll leave both links in the description in case you're interested. So I bought all of these tassels. Let's see, I don't know if it tells me how many. So there's 180 tassels in here, and I think there was 70, yep, 72 round pieces in here. And the reason I went separate instead of buying it together is because I wanted more tassels. So as you can see, there's like three colors of each in here, which I really, really like. Um... Because sometimes when I was doing this before, I would be doing, let's say, a pink one. And I didn't have any pink left. So now I have enough tassels to go around to do every one or every color that I want to do. So you can do it either way. You can buy the whole kit together, which I think was like $12. Or you can buy these separately, which I will leave the link in the description below just in case you're interested. So let's get going. So I'm just going to show you a few of these. I'm not going to show you every single one because there are so many. And it's pretty much the same process. So I'm just going to show you a few of them. Oh, I wanted to show you this one too. So this one is the holographic one. Whoops, here it is. Wife, mom, nurse. I really love this. So this was the one I did purple, so I knew that it would be the holographic color. So that turned out really well. And I didn't show you this one because I kind of found it afterwards. Um, If you guys think it's funny, I don't know. And I put these on coffee mugs and they go like crazy. So it's just a little unicorn saying that. Basically, the next thing you want to do is just take a piece of transfer tape, which I have here on the side. And I'm just going to cut a piece off. And the only thing you got to do basically is after you're done weeding everything, you just want to take it and put it all together. So I'm going to do this one. So if you all get what it says, I just thought it was kind of funny. So you just want to take your transfer tape, put it right over it, and then use your squeegee. I always talk about my squeegees and I absolutely love this one. It has this protective covering on it. So when I'm squeegeeing my stuff on, it's not going to cut through. So I'm just taking my squeegee and I'm just going to squeegee it on here really well. I know I always talk about my transfer tape, but I really love this transfer tape. It doesn't have any lines on. Some of them do, some of them don't. But I really love this transfer tape. I'll show you what it looks like in just a minute. So I bought a huge, huge roll of this. So see, it is huge. But it doesn't have any lines on it, but it sticks really well. I was getting the Dollar Tree transfer tape. But for whatever reason, I don't know if they upgraded it or they think they upgraded it, but it leaves a sticky residue behind. So I don't even use that anymore. I just use that kind. And I think it's a fres Fresco. Am I saying that right, guys? Fresco um, brand. And I absolutely love it. So I'll leave the link in the description below in case you're interested. So going 
uh, on with this, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yeah, right there. So there has a circle at the top. So I'm trying to do this really close so you guys can see it. I'm just taking it and I'm slowly trying to find the center of it with the circle and the little hole at the top here. So once you have it on, I have to put it down for a second. Sorry, guys. You just want to squeegee it on really, really well. And you know what? I've watched other tutorials where people can use like a water bottle and kind of like spritz it. But I have never had any problems with any bubbles or anything. So if you ever have any problems with any bubbles, I've seen people just take a little squirt bottle and give it a few spritz. But I never had an issue with, so, with it. So here is the first one. And I'm going to be honest again. So these are the pieces that come with it. I don't know if my fingers are just too putsy or what, but I can't not get this to go on there. So actually my daughter Katie will do it for me. So you just take, um, oops, I didn't get it out. One second, guys. You want to take this extra piece in here, and they're just little circles, and put it on here, and then you can put it on here easily. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's done, but she does that for me. And then for this one, I can add a tassel. I can do, you know, this blue color here. I can do purple, you know, whatever goes with it. I can do even the lighter blue. So this one gives you um, many more options of colors. That's why I said I went for the bag itself rather than the whole uh, kit. So that's why I love it. So I'm going to have her actually put a blue tassel on here with the keychain ring on it and then I'll show you what it looks like. So I'm going to do another one and show you really quick. I'm trying to find one that has a double to it. So this one has the paw print and then it also says crazy dog lady. So you want to start with this one first and put your transfer tape over it. And I'm just taking the same piece of transfer tape that I just used and then put it over here. Use my squeegee. Make it stick on my transfer tape. And then I'll put it over the dog print. But I always work upside down to make sure that I get all the pieces off. In case it doesn't, I can just push it and it will go right back on. Just like that. So there's this part. And then I'm going to just line it up with the dog print. So it, it all depends on you. Oops, I got some dog hair on here already. Of if you want to go straight on or if you want to kind of go to the side. I'm going to go a little bit to the side. Just like that. So you see the dog print behind and then the word over it. So I'm going to take my squeegee one more time and grab it all, work upside down, pull this away, perfect, and then take another one. Make sure you take that cover off of there that was on there. I swear, I got a lot of dog hair. I have two dogs here and a lot of dog hair. So I'm going to grab another one really quick here and then just peel this off. And then again, you want to see where the circle is at the top and kind of go from there. But I'm just laying it on here, trying to get as close as I can with getting it in the center on every side. And it's just like that. So then I'm going to use my squeegee one more time and push it down really, really hard. So again, if you guys do have bubbles for whatever reason, you can always take a pin. Um, or what I like to do is take a hair dryer on low and kind of go over it and use my fingers and get the bubble out but like I said I've never had any problems with any bubbles so here's this one you got the paw print behind and then you got the crazy dog lady so this is what the back looks like you could also do it again here if you wanted but I always just do it one-sided and then again comes in handy so you can use you know whatever colors you want that might go with this so I'm gonna let my daughter choose which colors she wants to put on these but she's just going to put it all together for me, but it's just like that. It's so, so simple. Okay, so I'm going to show you one more really quick. So I have this one over here. This says fur, and then it mama, and then you put this on it. So again, I'm going to take the lettering, use my same piece of transfer tape, use my little squeegee, and then I'll put this one on top of the other part. Again, I like to work backwards, make sure everything comes off. And then place it on here. Again, I'm trying to get it right in the middle, centered. Just take your time with this. Once you get it where you like it, just like that. Use your squeegee. Again, it's just all kind of self-explanatory, kind of repetitive, I guess. But once you get them cut out and weeded, it makes it so much simpler just to go ahead and do all this. So I'm just working backwards, making sure I get all the little pieces off. Those little paw prints like to stick on here sometimes, so I'm just making sure I get all the little paw prints off. 
and then sorry guys I gotta do another one right away so just make sure you pull this off I would recommend doing a whole bunch of them before you start doing this there you go and then just take your transfer tape find the hole at the top and then make it as centered as you can just like that so I want more squeegee it down and then you can pick out which color tassel you want or even ones that we've done I'll see if I can find any that I have left over I've sold them all already I've done so well with these is taking like a charm and putting it on here as well so like for this one the fur mama one I'd have like a little dog charm or like a little paw print and put it on there as well but that is just so easy to create and it's so much fun and honestly I sell these for eight dollars and I sell out of them I think I wish I remember offhand how much it was for these I think they're like for everything put together I think it's like 50 cents a piece so you're making a big profit and it really did not take me that long to make these and to cut them out and to put them all together as you can see I have a whole bunch here that I have to finish working on but once I'm finished with that I'm gonna make little uh, display cards for them and if you subscribe and you watch the next video I will show you how to create those it's so easy I have my logo on it my I create crafts logo on it so people know where they can buy more if they want or they can check out the channel and learn how to make them um, I'm an open book so I always tell people how to do things or you know where to buy things so I will show you what it looks like when it's all finished but I really love how these turned out so stay tuned and I'll show you every one of them when they're all finished and the tassels are put on and everything I had a ton of fun creating these keychains and I hope you learned something new from me please be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button and leave a comment down below as I love hearing from you all I hope this video tutorial helped you out and I hope you go and create your own happy crafting everyone